Hi, today we are going to start an interesting chapter of expansion and factorization of quadratic expressions. This is from D2 7th edition of mathematics. So let's start our exercise 3a. We are going to start question number 1 which states expand or simplify each of the following. Now coming to the part a we have 6x square plus 19 plus 9x square minus 8. So, what we have to do is that we will combine the like terms like this 6x square plus 9x square because they both have the same variable which is x raised to the power 2, x raised to the power 2. That is why they are called the like terms. So, we have written them all together. In the same way, 19 and minus 8 will be written together because these are constants. Now in order to solve 6x square and 9x square we will sum up like this that 9 and 6 will be added and they will give us 15. However the variable remains the same. Now 19 minus 8 gives us plus 11. Now, by solving 19 and 8, that is 19 and minus 8, what you have to remember is the rule that whenever two numbers have opposite signs, the smaller number will always be subtracted from the bigger number and with the answer, we always write the sign with the bigger number. Therefore, we subtract 8 from 19 and with the answer we get the bigger number however if you use your common sense again you will get that 19 minus 8 is always 11 now coming to the part B which states to solve this question you should remember that first of all you always have to solve the parenthesis that is any bracket involved should be solved first so here we get minus multiplied by minus is always plus so we get positive 11 x square now ag again we will combine the like terms together so you can see that we have two terms here which involve x square so we combine them combining the like terms like this and then we have two terms which involve x raised to the power 1 so we combine them together and then the constants will be combined now in order to solve this we make groups of them always remember that when there is no number written with a variable it means that there we have 1 so 11 plus 1 is 12 and then we get minus 5 plus 2. We can write it like this. Now here again you can see that we have different signs and different signs always mean that we have to subtract the numbers. You will subtract smaller number from the bigger number and we get 5 minus 2 equals 3 however with the answer we always write the sign of the bigger number so we get minus 3 as the answer so we can write here minus 3x now here you can see that this is minus 7 minus 1 so you should remember that when there are same signs so we have to add the numbers 7 plus 1 is now coming to an interesting question question number 1 and its e part here we have a long expression in parentheses so first of all we will solve it now always remember that whenever there is a negative sign outside the bracket it will go inside and multiply with each of the number so now here we have positive 4x square so plus minus minus we have 4x square minus 
and plus when we multiply them we get minus so we have 9x plus minus minus and again we have negative 2 and the remaining expression will be written as it is now again as you know you have already understood in the last two parts that you have to combine the like terms in order to solve the algebraic expression so now just pause the video for a moment and think that which terms are like terms and they will be combined now here you can see that i have combined the like terms using different colors so here we have terms involving x square as variable in blues we have the terms involving x and in yellows we have combined the constants so using the same rule to solve them we get 4 plus 3 is 7 and x square remains the same now here we have two different signs minus 9 and minus 7 so they are actually same signs so they will be added same signs are always added and with the answer we have sign of the bigger number now similarly here you can see that they have opposite signs but same numbers so technically if you write them like this positive 2 and minus 2 then 2 minus 2 is 0 so we have nothing to write over here in this place so this is our answer now coming back to the last part of this question part number f we have as i told you in my last part that you have to solve the parenthesis first so whatever number is written outside of the bracket you have to multiply with each of the terms inside the bracket so here if you do not understand like this that you have to uh, multiply how do you have to multiply the signs so you can write here 1 so now we have to multiply minus 1 with each of the numbers inside the bracket so here we have positive 1 plus minus minus 1 times 1 is 1 minus minus is plus and we get 1 into 7 is 7 minus minus plus so we have 8 y square now here we have 2 y square plus minus minus and 2 times 3 is 6 now plus minus is minus and 2 times 1 is 2 now again you have to combine the like terms and then you have to solve so let's have a look at it so this is how we got the answer to this question the simplification all the of the algebraic expression so this was question number one from exercise 3a and in the next